Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss British Standard Classification of Incisor Relationship. Uh, there are a few terms you need to know. Number one is procline, retrocline, overjet, and overbite. What is procline? Or we can say proclination. Procline refers to moving the incisal edge of the anterior teeth facially. This condition, when the upper teeth are proclined, you can see the proclination in class to malocclusion. Retrocline. The retrocline it is a condition in which the upper and lower incisors, upper or lower incisors, incline palatally or lingually to a greater extent than normal. To a greater ex extent than normal. In class three, this you can see this condition in class three malocclusion when the lower incisor are pro when the uh, upper when you can see when the upper sorry when the upper incisors are retrocline the next is overjet horizontal overlap of incisors this is the horizontal overlap of the upper and lower incisors and you can see in the given picture next is overbite overbite is the vertical overlap of incisors and this you can see there is a picture given and you can see this is a vertical overlap between the upper and lower incisors Introduction. Who introduced this classification? The incisor classification of malocclusion has enjoyed wide acceptance since its introduction by Ballard and Women in 1964 and has now superseded Engel's classification in the United Kingdom. Incisor classification. On the right side, you can see the clinical pictures. There are three, as you can know, the molar classification it is divided into three classes. Incisor classification is also divided into three classes, class 1 incisors, class 2 incisors, and class 3 incisors. Class 1 incisor relationship. The, in this class 1, the lower incisor edged occlude with or lie immediately below the cingulum plateau of upper central incisors. On the right side, the given picture, you can see the cingulum plateau and the incisor edge of the lower incisor. The lower incisor edge is occluded with or lie immediately below with the cingulum plateau of the upper central incisors. This is the side view and the picture below, which is a clini clinical picture, you can see the class 1 incisors. Class Class 2 incisor relationship. The lower incisor edges lie posterior to the cingulum plateau of the upper incisor. In class 2, you can see in the picture the lower incisor edge is posterior to the cingulum plateau of the upper incisors. Class 2 incisor relationship, there are it is divided into two subdivisions, division 1 and division 2. In division 1, the upper central incisors are proclined and there is average inclination and there is an increase over jet. Division 2 the upper central incisors retroclined over jet minimum or maybe increased. You can see in the pictures class 2 division 1 and division 2 both have class 2 incisor relationship. The only difference in them is in class 1 division 1 class oh, sorry class 2 division 2 the incisors are proclined and there is increase over jet while in class 2 division 2 the incisors are retroclined you can clearly see in the Im clinical image shown below in division 1 the incisors is proclined and the class 2 division 2 the upper central incisors are retroclined class 3 incisor relationship in class 3 incisor relationship the lower incisal edges lies anterior to the cingulum plateau of upper incisors the overjet is reduced or the overjet is reversed in the clinical picture shown below you can see the lower incisors there is overjet and the relationship you can see the incisor relationship on the picture on the right side that the incisal edge of the lower incisor is anterior to the cingulum plateau of upper incisors. 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो